to Harmontown. How are you tonight? You look so beautiful. Uh, I am Brandon Johnson. I'm sitting in for the lovely Jeff Davis, and uh, we want to wish Sarah Hill a happy birthday. We want to wish Steve Levy a happy birthday. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring him out. He's renowned, the best around, Dan Harmon. Followed by the most amazing, Rob Schraub. Yeah. Happy birthday, Steve Levy. Steve Levy's birthday. Steve Sarah Levy's Hill. Birthday. Steve Levy. I never really texted him, Steve, uh, happy birthday. You're, we took care of it for you. <laughs> ah, fucked we, up. We assisted your assistants on his assistant. I saw it on my calendar, and then I, and then I, because Steve's the first guy I got a text in the morning, and I, I was like, well, get this stuff out of the way first. You know. He, sh he should have left you a, a note. Like a calendar? <laughs> it's, it's, he's in charge of my calendar. It was, his birthday was on it. He did the best he could to, to humanize himself. He just, uh, just couldn't get through the fucking membrane. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't break the, the, the titanium ceiling, the whatever material you use when you're just oppressing everyone human. It's beyond glass. <sighs> glass is elegant. It's for the ladies. You want to be able to see through it. Hello, I'm oppressing you. I can see through the ceiling. What, too soon? On the... You, you know, if you guys think you're sick of me, you should uh, be sick of yourselves for a change. What, you, uh, what would you use for Levy? Uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, I talk, well, obviously I'm using something that you can't see through. That's my, I think that's my elegant point. Like, I think that's where the term glass ceiling probably came from is that, you know, men are like, like, you know, they're like, oh, uh, it's transparent. Like, like not because it's invisible, but because the men are like, yeah, it's there. Like, like I, I can see you while, you know, I think it's insidious. And then I'm saying like, then what if, what about the way that you oppress everybody that you don't even think about at all? You don't even see them. I feel like women came up with the term. <laughs> w women came up with a term? <laughs> because, uh, you know, because from their vantage point, it, it's, a, it's a ceiling. It's like a... <laughs> but, it, but, the show, but the show is called Harmon Town. <laughs> And, and February is over, so well, I'll be quiet. Happy March. Happy International Women's Month. Goddamn right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to, yeah go, to, point well taken. The term ceiling probably uh, 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 d uh, coined by the people beneath it. Um, unless you're like that jazzed about oppression that you're like, we, this, we need a ceiling over these people. You know, you're like looking down and going, you don't call it a floor. But because you're, you're a little concerned, you don't want to oppress them too much. You want to be able to see them. It's like the opposite of empathy. Like the opposite of love is indifference, not hate. The opposite of empathy isn't uh, non-empathy. It's like, I, I know exactly how you feel. I'm going to crush you. That's crazy. I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about things from your perspective so I can know how to hurt you more. Oh. I don't, is there a word for that? Antipathy? Free time? <laughs> Speaking of antipathy, uh, here, here, okay, so here's a phrase. Antipathy. <laughs> I remember going to my Aunt Tiffany's house for rhubarb pie <laughs> and mac and cheese aronis. Antipathy. Spencer's been very depressed lately. Uh, I asked him if it was okay to, to, to share that with people, uh, and he said, yeah. That was, a, that was several weeks ago. I haven't checked in with him about that since. I'm like, giving him his space, and he's like, I mean, I see him, I see him all the time. But uh, I'm just, I'm just, if somebody doesn't want to, you know, I figure, give him space. And, uh, Is that but, what you've been doing? Oh, to you? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're here. I, 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 you reminded me, you interrupting with the antipathy wordplay 
reminded me that Spencer wasn't here. And, <laughs> and that, that made me think about the fact that I actually hadn't shared something that I did ask Spencer at one point, would you mind if I shared that with the audience? He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Cause I didn't think it was interesting. And I was in a real shit mood and, uh, it was, you know, it's it's hard to say these days if it's connected to anything extrinsically causal. Like it, it, it the world is so wackadoodle from my perspective at this point. Like, it, how would you know if it was because it was raining or because of something you saw on a on the internet or it? it, it but I, I, you ever have one of those funks that's so deep that you're kind of like, this has got to be biochemical. This can't even be. I've never been this depressed about anything real in my life. Like, this has got to just be a real yeah. thing. And it almost, like, makes it a little easier to deal with intellectually because you're like, oh, this is just blue crayon in my butt. Um, don't Google it, but it's a real expression. <laughs> Um, and I got, and, I, and then, like, midway into that, I was, like, not sharing it with people. That's the, that's the thing. Because it was like, oh, this too shall pass. You complain enough. Like, like, what? Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna tell that? It, 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 I think it, you know. It, it, even saying this is gonna be uncharismatic. But it's like I was having this conversation with a colleague where I said, like, they were talking about being depressed, and I was like, you know, you, you, you are having a, a lot of good fortune right now, and uh, uh, there is an effect that I've noticed where you. you the, that lasso of like when you're allowed to complain like kind of tightens in your own mind. You guys are thinking, well, nothing's stopping you. That, that lasso's not tight. But but <laughs> that's because I think I have this. I feel like I have a little license to like kvetch because I'm talking to people who would never judge me. Um, <laughs> Um, but 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 anyways, I'm, I'm I've, I, I got way too high. I, I I'm sorry. That's my my fourth tangent. I just I uh, Spencer was so I, I I came to work in this funk, and I got out of my car. And I got in the elevator, and Spencer happened to be in the elevator at the same time, and he hadn't done the show for I think one. He just he had just had taken one week off at that point, and I said good morning. He's, good morning. He said he said hey, sorry I. I didn't do the show, and I was like, "Yeah, well, you, 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 is, is, is everything okay?" He's like, nah, "I'm just, I'm really depressed." And my mood, I was like so excited. It was like he told, it was like when you see somebody wearing the same shirt, or like, it, or, or, or somebody mentions the same Netflix show that you were like coming into work ready to talk about, <laughs> and like, like, like it was so yeah. instantly measurable how happy it made me to hear someone else say, "I've been depressed." Uh, and I don't know why. And I think that that's both, you know, uh, look, I, I, I know that that's, I know I, I, it was also funny. I was, it was like, God, that's so ridiculous and almost cruel uh, uh, that it makes you feel better. You hear that the misery loves company and stuff. And it's like, I, 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 I never bothered to ask Spencer, is it also making you feel better? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or is it just, I, I was afraid to ask. You know, remember, you ever take like a, remember in swim class when those teacher says like, don't go near a person that's drowning. They, yeah. they, they, they won't know what they're doing and they, they might grab your head and hold it under them like, like with their kind of reptile part of their brain. If they're scared, they're that, they're drowning. So you have to have like have these techniques. Like I was, I was, that, that's what I was doing. I was like, I was like Spencer saying he had been depressed. Like I just grabbed it and pushed myself up with it. it was like, that makes me feel so much better. Um, but there's a, the, you know, there is this thing. Uh, you've witnessed somebody be brave. You're able to be brave. And there's this great honesty. You get, you get a little kick from that. We, we all do. It's why we sort of stress, reach out to people. So there, there is this moment like when you peel, I know this is nerdy, but you know when you open a Band-Aid in the dark and you see that little spark when you peel the paper I love back. that. Right. That's not nerdy. <laughs> okay. That's so, so, that's magic. Right. So this is the same thing. It, it is magic, right? It's the I same so. thing. <laughs> it's the same thing in Carlsbad Caverns where there's no light. Yes. And then you open a Band-Aid and you like, it's, yes. it, it, it's one little thing and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you're going to live longer. It doesn't mean anything, but it's like... It, it's yeah. It's so doesn't important. mean the wound doesn't mean the wound went away. That's like you know the opposite of you got to pull that band aid off. Is usually you, you got to open that band aid. You got to open that band aid yeah. package. <laughs> in and a one, Calif two, Calif 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 Cal
<laughs> okay, so, can't, can't so antipathy reminded me of a like a, a thing, better and time. Then you did that. That reminded me of Spencer. Spencer reminded me. So I would say. I mean, I want to say also. I don't think I have the word power right now. I'm, I'm on a deadline. I'm kind of like clumsy and fumbling, but. I did. I did imagine sharing it with you that Spencer's been bumped out, and I know that I know that Spencer's not going to enjoy anybody saying to him like, you know, it's it's just it's tough with him. Like, I he's such a smart guy. Like, it, it, you know, it it's 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 uh it's it, I I I feel like it's important to to share that he's been in a in a funk. I don't. Even though I th- I bet I'm sure he would, if he had a button, he'd go. Well, no, then don't don't mention it because he's he doesn't he's not. I don't think he's gonna get joy out of like a flood of digital get wells. You know, I I I, I do. Uh, I, if, uh, even if we don't, well, let's see what happens. Well, sometimes oh, that's why I, that's how I felt about wishing him a happy birthday. Was I I kind of I was like you know well he probably hates having a happy birthday said to him, but this when isn't he- for him. <laughs> when, did, when did he tell you he was a miserable motherfucker who hated good shit? No, he didn't tell he's, me. He's a pretty love and light kind of guy, as far as I've seen, and and uh, gets sort of that you get what you give, and and that um, yeah. I don't mean feelings. to make him sound like a curmudgeon. I, yeah. he's, he's he's he's. I think he's he would not, love a little um, love. No, he's just very. Um, uh, he doesn't like. Um, he's shy. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's, he's like I don't want to say social anxieties because it, it, the term I mean is it an anxiety if you don't want to be in a crowd of fucking warbling strangers? I, I it's like it's like when people used to say I had a Christ complex. How do you know I'm not actually Christ? It's true. Those it's true. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever, this is a kind of a tangential thing, but uh, did you ever go to like Milwaukee Days? Do you guys have any of those festivals? In Summerfest. Like, Summerfest. Were you that kind of person who could do those? Uh, mm, I mean, yeah. We were okay. back in the comedy tent. I mean, we would traverse like yeah. the crowds, but we wouldn't stay there very long. We yeah. would spend the, the, the rest of the day or the night in the comedy tent. I don't think I would have gone to Summerfest very often if if, if it we wasn't if we the, didn't have yeah. that like yeah. that little feeling of like you're going there to work and and there's a K yeah. in a there's a, there's section. A, like this hidden area full of all the people that you see every day plus the occasional Bobcat Goldwaite or Tom Kenny are going to show up and you yeah. can hang out with them. Yeah. So Comic Con is the same. When you guys are Comic Con, you don't really walk. I can't the floor. can't do the Ooh. exhibit floor yeah. anymore yeah. except it's, for maybe like Sunday yeah. before they like. After they close and everyone, like, I don't yeah. know. it's like it's really that's that's pretty crazy. I think everyone would agree, but I think some people are maybe just a, more able to handle something that they know is egregious, which is like absolute zero control over your personal space and where and when you walk and don't walk. Like that, that gets that's pretty. That seems that seems criminal. Uh, the the exhibit floor at uh, Comic Con. Anyways, all right. So uh, yeah, okay. So this has been a long time coming. I think I've I think I've been thinking about this for thirty years, and I, I, I it's like one of those things. It's just a little thing in my a little bee in my bonnet that uh, I think it's come up recently because of the amount of true crime I'm listening to. So this phrase gets used a lot. I hate this phrase. Um, there's no guest tonight, so fuck you. Welcome to the show. Oh God. Uh, oh God. <laughs> I, I, I guess I won't be uh, talking when I shouldn't talk anymore. <laughs> I guess it's always my turn to say something about myself. Um, you gonna fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, uh, I, years I, I accidentally read the fucking Reddit before I, I came. I, so, 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 it's, it's because I started going back there for porn and like... <laughs> I I, I, I I like the Gone Wild audio. You ever do the Gone Wild audio? <laughs> it, it, it's it's like a di- you can't get that anywhere else. It's like a what it's like it? an open source community of people that are just doing like audio porn. So like role playing stuff. Like like oh well, hello, you're here for your three o'clock appointment. Just sit over here. What do you mean you're French? Uh, I don't. I, I made. I'm making. I'm making one up because I've been conditioned now to not share. Are you telling me like what I'm going there for? Is there is there a Michael Winslow? <laughs> 
<laughs> the Michael Winslow of, of Gone Wild Audio. It is, it is fascinating which people decide to use props. Um, it's, it's very funny, like, like sometimes, like, 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 like women who, who, like, where did you get the impression it would sound like that to fillet someone? Like, 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 what, like, like, are you, are you, are you really good at it? Is that why it sounds like that? Have you heard everyone else pretending to fillet? Like, 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 you, you, why does it sound like, like, and, and then the other people, like, whether or not they're going to do space work and like, here, let me, why don't you sit in this chair? And then some people just aren't content to let that be silent. There's, they, 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 there's like a chair sound. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, which is I actually more distracting to me because I'm picturing them like like putting a, their foot on a chair or something. It's like they're a one man band or a, it's like a, a Foley Full. act from SCTV or something. Like, um, like they got cowbells next to them. It's like, hey, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, you hear that you, train go by. What are you doing with that finger? <laughs> I can't Seems seem like the, to uh, maintain my erection. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shake this lightning paper. <laughs> there was, there was, there was one lightning that I, paper. I, I kind of was like, um, it, in, it involved uh, two women. There's like, there's, there's codes that 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 they use. That they put brackets, and so it'll be like F4M. It means female voice recorded for a male listener, assuming heterosexuality. I, I suppose. The the oh, yes. uh, and then it's M four F, which I should listen to a couple. I'm sort of like 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 I I've never actually heard like a M four F like 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 I, I that, that seems like that would be a whole world of like I should do one. I I, I, I like like um, right now. Oh. Uh. Shoes for sale. Hello. Hello? Uh, uh. What? Oh. You, <laughs> All right, now. Uh, no, let me talk. I'm, we're like five tangents deep. I just want to. I want to get to this thing. But I, I, I went. I went to the. Uh, I went to the subreddit. And it was like, like, oh, like if somebody was like, well, I listened to all 800 episodes, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm all caught up. And then everyone, I was like, I can read that thread. That's not gonna hurt me. That's gonna be like a fucking warm embrace that's not even sugar coated. It's just gonna be like a general. What do you, you know, 800 episodes. And then it was just like everybody's chance to just go like, when you get to this one, that's when it really bad. And all this stuff, I was like, I, 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 I don't, I just, I, can you still say suck my dick? Like, are you, is it, is it, is it like, or is that like a, is suck my, you know, just to say suck my dick to people with, like as a way of saying like, go fuck yourself? Or is, or is that, is that, is that, is that problematic? Because, but anyone can suck a dick, right? No, it takes a real genius. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> for the clip yes. show, that one's for the 600th <laughs> anniversary special. Um, so, no, no, you got better. You got better than suck my. Yeah, dick. no, I mean, I, I, I imagine it's just like it, even if it's not technically, I'm not one of these guys that's like, hey, is this is this technically like I'm still allowed to? I, I just, I was just kind of thinking about it because I'm like, I note that more than ever. Like, I used to have a real addiction to like saying the. F word, like as a the, the gay derogatory F word, like just real conversationally, like probably all over this podcast, I bet, because I was like, it was a hard habit to break, like, like, like. Uh, Isn't that crazy? Like, yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of it's shit. Shit changes fast. Yeah, and uh, and just gay and retarded all over the place, and um, and uh, the the so therefore I, I'm 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 I guess what I'm. The thing, okay, well, I guess my point is that the thing that, the, out of all the habits that I feel like I've successfully killed verbally, uh, the, the thing that remains rattling against the inside of my skull constantly is I'm constantly wanting to just tell people to suck my dick. <laughs> like, I haven't lost that. I've, 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 even though I, have, I don't know, I don't say it anymore, it hasn't gone away, like, the craving. I just, like, feel like it's the thing that I really want to say to everyone all the time. Just suck my dick. Yeah. Like, 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 come it's, on. Uh, you got better. But it, yeah, of course, we've all got better. We could all, we some could of us all don't. do better. Some of us don't. But, but really, you know, there's a couple, because of the great thing about Suck My Dick sort of being retired, there's all these new ways of saying awful shit to people. Oh, yeah. Well, did you, I was, did you see John Mulaney's uh, uh, set, SNL. the SNL set? I didn't. I, I mean, it's like, I, 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 
I it it, it it was it was really striking to me because it was like you know these like debates about like political correctness th- is it killing comedy blah blah blah, blah. and it's like it, it it's a non question it's just like like you, you, the 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 answer is sort of like do you if you watch John Mulaney set on Saturday Night Live feel the craft feel the the unmistakable kind of objective humor if there is such a thing like he kills it it's what you might call like just a just a just a, a perfect set, a solid yeah. set. Like, uh, and and then and then you, like, oh, do you think that he did this? Do you think he wrote and performed this by first having a debate about um, whether he's allowed to say things? The answer is no. I mean, if you haven't seen it, that, I'll answer for you. It's it's it, 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 it's it's clearly coming from a place of joy. It just doesn't go into air. It's it's it's. He he's not he's not either mad that that the times have changed, nor is he uh, like wantonly stoked about uh, the the new way to yeah. think things and stuff. Yeah. He's just nailing it, doing it, and I think I think it just has to do with like sincerity and kind of like being in the moment, which I can no longer do. But here's my uh, uh, here's the thing that I would like to change about language. Because I feel like it has antipathy, inherent antipathy to it, this phrase. I don't like it. I'd like to eliminate it. Uh, they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> like, 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 first of all, forget about the fact, I'm not, I'm not, forget about the fact that if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you, you, Probably nailed it, right? Would, right. You, you, you probably avoided something terrible. I would, I would just think verbally, but forget about that. Like, like, because if you, you're already in the wrong place, so if you, what you don't want to be, you don't want to be, you the be there at the right time. It's the yeah. wrong place. The right time to be there is so something wrong is going to happen. Right. <laughs> forget about that. I just don't like the general like. It, it was just like 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 I don't like the general like way that it's used where it's always like. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess the term is victim blaming now, um, where it's like 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 because it's just like something horrible happens in these uh, 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 podcasts you're listening to, or you're like, oh, then they get ripped in half by a gator, or the, the yeah, the, the, the it's like the true crime podcast. Or, yeah, and you're just listening because you're like, oh God, I I I hope nothing bad ever happens to me, and uh, I don't know why you're listening. It was just slowly going insane, and uh, it's just constantly. Saying that over and over again, like the people, oh, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, like I, the 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 idea that if I die tragically, that's that's the way it will be characterized. Like, yeah. it kind of really makes me f- mad in advance. Like, my I, I want to haunt people. How I wasn't you? in the wrong place at the wrong time. If I get hit by a bus, I I I, I, I it, it was it, it's it was it was it was a bad thing that happened. I mean, do you have, if you have plans on how you want to die, then sure, we can judge you. Like, if you were like, man, I, I wanted to die somewhere sexy, but I was at a gas station at, like, three. Right. It's in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> like, type of death that I wanted. Yeah. You know, I wanted something bigger. You I was know? at the wrong place for the kind of activity I had in right. mind. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like let's say it is like the wrong place at the wrong time again. Just to come back to that, it is like saying two lefts. I mean, like you're you're you've now turned right. Yeah, because obviously it was the wrong time. Yeah, it was already the wrong place. Yeah, just don't nothing be, else was don't gonna be, be the right. right place at the at the wrong time. What's the other one? However, it doesn't work in reverse. If you're at the right place at the right time, you're in the best place. <laughs> I think it works the way zeros in math do, probably. Uh, <laughs> or integers, or whatever they call like them. Two negatives. Yeah. I think that's about all I got. I don't know. I heard... I... Okay, so this happened. <laughs> so I have a trainer, and I go to the gym regularly. But I'm going out of town... Thank you. A couple, a couple, couple trainers couple in the A couple claps for self-care. Yeah, okay. So I'm going out of town. I'm going... Excuse me a second. Going out of town next month. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, I canceled my trainer, my trainer. So, like, but they, th- but I've been going there for like about four years, and they said, well, you've accrued 
through like your trainer canceling or you canceling or whatever, you've accrued like like 30 extra days in there that you paid for, you know? And if you cancel it, if you cancel it, they're just going to disappear. And I was like, well... How many, how many, uh, well, well, when, when is my, if I cancel it today, when does it up? Well, it's up, like, in two weeks. So I said, well, I'll just do them in, in two weeks. So I've been going to the fucking gym. Oh, you're just doing it. Every just... single day for, like, two hours. Yeah. Thinking you... that I'm going to get fucking Statham for Kate when she comes back from her vacation. You gotta get statham Yeah. <laughs> But I fucked up my back, oh. and I can't, like, bend over to pick up my socks, so I'm the opposite of Statham. It's the opposite of Statham. I'm a 50-year-old ex-comic book artist who can't pick up his socks. Here, Did, I have I have you gonna... seen Statham's latest movie? It sounds like you have. <laughs> no, but I'll check it out. <laughs> He's got his own. On Reddit. He's got his own shop. Uh, oh my when, god! Uh, Chinese Chinese gangsters come in and uh, kill everybody inside. I need these comic books picked up and socks. Oh, I'm the man for the job. Are <laughs> uh, you fifty? Yeah, yeah, governor. Did- what they didn't know. Hey, you didn't pick up one sock. It's because there was a baby in it. That's Chinese baby. We take it to comic book store. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Break my only rule. <laughs> Jason Statham is the fifty-year-old ex-comic book artist. Who I, 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 I actually, I, I already, I conflated your job with the stuff you're picking up off the floor. Yeah. No, no. I it, added comic books all over the floor. Yeah. But my my back is all fucked up. It's like really like it's it's fucked up, and I've got like one more session tomorrow, and I'm like. I don't know if I can do it. I'm, I'm so close to the finish line, but what? I don't know why I'm but fucking doing this. Finish line? I'm you're hurting you're myself you're 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 because like... I'm too much. I'm like, the guy's guy goes, you know what? Because what they were trying to do, this is why I'm doing it. They were trying to do, well, if you pay for another month, you'll be able to have more time to get rid of those. I'm like, I'm not going to give you more money so I can use the stuff I already paid for. What? Planet, are you from? And the, and planet drug dealer. Planet drug dealer. He said. <laughs> all right, but all right, but you. Di- it's not a zero sum game. You ra- you wrung a certain quantity out of a rag, and you're you're okay. So one drip is. My, this is my the therapist said. Here's your expectation. Yeah, which here's, one? Here's what okay. you got. That's how much you grieve. So like oh. <laughs> I, th- I thought there was going to be toothpaste this morning. Oh, there's no toothpaste. You got to squeeze the fucking crust out of a weird, like, random toothpaste thing that you found in the by, 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 where you keep the plunger. Uh, well, I wish that wasn't the case. I don't let that, you know, it's like it's one little, it's like, like a, you, you, here's what I wanted, here's what I got, here's how much I grieve. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got, I got high. It's better than like, the, it's it's better than me. It's better than me. Just, I, 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 I'm very frazzled right now. I've been, I've been on a, I've, I'm, I'm in that. I'm, I'm, I'm letting people down on a deadline. I'm like, I'm, I'm in my pajamas in bed and I'm like failing to write. You know, we were talking to Adam Conover about the blowback effect. I, I, the thing that was most striking to me about it in, in his show is what they mentioned is that the human brain receives not knowing something as pain. Which means guys like us, Rob, creatives, we're like boxers. <laughs> we're just as macho, we're just, like, we're like firefighters. But if every call was, if there, there were no kitten calls. I haven't gotten a kitten call. By the way, why is that heroic, getting a kitten out of a tree? Fucking easiest gig in the world. They say a kitten, it's scared to be in the tree. Oh, fuck. You got a ladder, now you're a hero? Come on. You thought it was you two he was talking about. Yeah. Wait, what? My every time, every time I bend over to pick up a sock. All right, you get back. My back. ass hurts. 
my ass. It's like a sciatic. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You pull, you pull my the nerve. Psych. Yeah. And it so hurts. You gotta keep. You gotta keep stretching that. Do you want to go to my guy? What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> my guy. My for your guy. ass. You want to go to his guy for your ass. <laughs> Simple. What? My guy did help me, but with your sciatic. Yeah, I don't have back pain anymore. In fact, I stopped going to him. Because one of the things he said was like, you need, you need better core strength. So now I'm like doing like... So you stopped going. <laughs> he said... Well, I, get, I just gave it a long <laughs> you, time. <laughs> you, you, he goes, you need more core strength. <laughs> okay, can we cancel <laughs> So I don't week? need you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in a sense... Problem but, solved. I don't need... No, he's saying like, he's like, the reason you're going to continue to have a bad back at your age because you're not, you don't have a strong core. So you get the belly in the front and you got the back in the back. You got the party in and, the back. Uh, and so like, you should like, you should be, you don't have any core, you what, know? Like, what? Like, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're, I mean. But that's what I've been doing. I've been doing core. I've been doing my shoulders. I've been doing my legs. I've been doing uh, my back. I've been doing my Pussy triceps. Pussy and my crack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not sending you to a coreologist. I'm and sending my, you to a chiropractor. And just for some reason, on my left ass, every time I bend over to or get out of a car or walk the dog, I'm in terrible pain. Like my left ass is in a lot of pain. Like I'm almost I'm like, I think I'm gonna fucking die sometimes. <laughs> like, I'm like, like, getting out of the car when I was he just to go to the show. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna cry. I was crying. It's like an electrical jolt sometimes, right? Like, like yes, from your yes, ass down into yes, your shoe. Yes. And so, like a fucking genius, I did this morning. I go, oh, well, what I need is. Ben Gay, which we've talked about before. I get out of the bathtub and I put Ben Gay on my left ass and it mixes with the water that's already on my ass and it drips down my ass crack. Now my ass is on fire. Did you see that? Like, I was going to do this, and I went, oh, there's a pylon, and I went, yeah. noink. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to oh, look at the guy that keeps making the tiger sounds. I can't. I'm not going to look at him. He's, I'm afraid that eye contact will, like, he's, he's water his plants. He wants to get on the show so uh, bad. Tiger, tiger Man. Uh, I only listen past episode 400, because that's when Tiger Man gets involved. <laughs> Uh, remember when that blind guy came and he was great and then we were like, you're going to come again? And he was like, fuck you. I was, uh, he was like, no, I was I using you. I'm blind. I don't remember this. Was yeah. I, I don't well, you, yeah, it was just one show. Like He was like, he came up and he killed. The audience loved him. And I was like, oh, man, what a great thing to have this like fun, like... Uh, <laughs> This like sharp, like uh, 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 out of nowhere blind guy that starts like cut coming up on on the show, and it's like I'm sure he's like, yeah, uh, I'm sure everyone feels that way. I'm fucking blind and dealing with it. I'm not your fucking uh, candle to put on your coffee table. <laughs> I really miss that guy. <laughs> Anybody remember that episode? Was that, I think was that was that meltdown. I feel like it was still meltdown. Uh, nostalgia. Well. We'll have to look up what episode that is. Don't I think it's. I think it's. I think it's. An, I think there's an, a reference to to him in the title, like some like. But anyways, uh, okay. Uh, new favorite show. Almost through it because there's only two seasons. Uh, Love after lockup. Oh. I'm telling you, man. What? Love after lockup. Yes. <laughs> Tiger Man wants to say what? Uh, love after lockup. I, I don't uh, know why I thought that would discourage him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why bringing attention to him didn't discourage him. It's about it more. it's about yeah. people, and they it it, they, it it's about people who, uh, mostly uh, who uh, meet and then who, who meet their uh, mates uh, through like 
meetaninmate.com and sites like that where there's a wow. yeah well, well that's the first thing that like it was like a mind blower but i mean i'm telling you it's a real it's like yeah there's a lot of like vh1 style kind of editing to it where you'll you should play minecraft or like watch it with a partner because like like there's a lot of opportunity to just talk and uh, because 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 every time someone says, "Well, uh, Damon, uh, I, I'm starting to have uh, doubts about whether he's uh, playing it this way because of what happened at the airport," and you know, as soon as they reference anything, it's going to immediately cut to a scene you already saw at the airport, real quick. But if, if you can get over that, which I, I if you can, it, it, it's crazy. These stories, like, w w you get through the first season, the second season is like three times. Crazier. I've never example. Jamarius didn't tell me that he had another family before he was locked up, <laughs> and now we all live together. Well, there what? is there is what? there what? is there is one. What's his name? <laughs> Jamarius. There is there is one girl who doesn't know. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of like. Did, uh, did, did well, he wrestle Cerberus? Uh, <laughs> When Christina ah. first looked me up on prisondate.com, you know, she, she told me she's okay with my situation, but uh, she's not okay with my situation. Well, uh, here's what's murder. crazy. <laughs> I, <so laughs> they, it, they did, it's, 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 it's yeah. all across the gender and racial spectrum. Uh, like, uh, oh I've got, you got, you got to stop, man. Dude, you got to stop. I, really? like, it's going to go Adam Goldberg so fast. Yeah. Um, the, the, it, 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 I, that's what, that's another, that's something first, I didn't know I had preconceptions about this stuff, but when I heard about like, oh, love after lockup, I just immediately, first of all, pictured like the, the kind of like that, the women that write to the inmates and then the, it, it it's like, oh, what's going on with them? And you got these preconceived notions. I hear, uh, like, like, okay, no, there's just as many g guys doing yep. it with like these female inmates and. Like, here, the crazy thing is is what's was is the similarities. The crazy thing is the stuff that crosses all lines of 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 gender and race. I guess is, are the two lines. I don't know. I would say class, like the Monopoly guys getting out of prison. There's no episode like that. Um, but but I was kind of like blown away in an almost uplifting humanistic way to to say like, oh my god, th like w stories this extreme, like. Gender is an artificial construct because what's really defining these people on w the, is is whether you're out of prison or in prison. <laughs> That's the two genders in these relationships. And the people who are out of prison, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I hope I hope there's not an exception to this because they would definitely not deserve to be lumped in this way. And I I don't want to judge anybody ever for the rest of my life. But I'm like fascinated by. The fact that like it seems like all of the people that are out of prison that are going to these prison sites to find a mate, um, it's like they all are going there because in every sense of the phrase, on both levels of the phrase, they like the idea of having a prisoner for a mate. So that includes after they get out, like like these, in whatever way that you're capable of expressing it, like these people are like, oh, this is their recourse to control, like they want to be um, a warden in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now that sometimes that takes the form of like toxic masculine, like there's like crazy, fucking crazy the characters on this show. It, it, you 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 you're gonna learn their names and be like, there's no boring ones. It's like it's fa <laughs> it's. And I actually like I feel like I'm I'm learning about relationships because it it's so extreme it's so dysfunctional. No, out no, of the man. gate that it's sort of no. like that, 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 no, that's no, not man. good learning. No, no, don't it, do is. That. it is. It is. No, 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 don't no, no, use no. this guide, man. Don't use this as a guide, man. It is. No, Please. it is. There's a there's the, there's I'm sure there's a there's a metaphor that would suffice about it though because it's like you're talking about st it's if you you g going down to the shore and watching where ocean pounds into a rock so that you can build better pneumatic pipes and things so it, like 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 where you're like I want to understand 
the dangerous forces that are at play when two people that don't want to be alone um, uh, got their hooks in each other in various ways. And it's like, like if you because because in 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 more healthy relationships than oh I I went to a prison site and 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 started writing this person in relationships with more healthy starts to that. You, you, the undercurrent of uh, of materialism. This idea of like, well, this person just needs to eat. They just got out of the joint. Like they're trapped in this relationship, or they're taking advantage of 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 someone. Usually, exactly both in this crazy, um, like. Ant, yeah. Ants mating, wa- like, like colliding yeah. in the air and tumbling as they fuck to the earth, where like both needs being filled, both killing each other. Uh, it's like I need control over a human being. I have a you know, and the other person is like I need a sandwich, and <laughs> and it's just like poof. Um, I, it, it 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 is it is truly. Intense, man. I, I I can't recommend it enough. There's a there's a I, I I I I there's a million reality shows. I'll recommend one more just to show that it's not like oh Dan, you watch a reality show and you're like not desensitized to them, so your old man thinks reality shows are interesting. No, I don't. I, I but I but it's but, this kind of real quick. It's this kind of a point that you had when he asked last week about uh, is it real life and and real life does it adapt to, to script. And I think there's something interesting about what you point out is the very rawness of the lack of storyline. These are just real characters that are super dynamic. Yeah, and but you and you're also like pulling these characters out of it because it's like it goes through these shades of like, like you can e- you can so easily go, oh, he's the mark, he's the trick, you know, she's a yeah. she's a sociopath. Like it's the same way that like like on any uh, sidewalk or shopping mall where you might you people watching and you, it's not like we. It's not like the human mind uh, has a question mark in place of an opinion about a stranger, you know, like uh, until they get more data. It's like we know exactly who's racist. <laughs> We're like, like uh, that mailman's racist. You'll find out later if you're right. Um, but uh, it, 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 like, like, so you watch these stories, and it's like you go, like, oh, 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 I feel bad for him because, like, the guy, the way he's talking about it's like, well, I've known Sasha for. Nine months. I mean, I've never talked. I've never seen her in person, but I've been sending her money and 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 all that stuff. And you're like, okay, my pity's going over there. And then she, I'm, I'm making one up. I don't want to spoil it. Really, any of the real ones. But it's like, and then and then and then she gets out, and you're like, this poor guy. And and it's just like, it, it's not even just like it flips to, oh, this guy's a, a monster. It's like while it's flipping to, it's he's he's a monster. It's also you're you're kind of like. You're learning more about why she might be. Well, why was she in prison? And for, like, 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 and and what is she supposed to fucking do? And and again, like, it's 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 it makes no difference if it's a dude. Like, it could, the dudes are like fucking. You know, they they could snap the woman's neck, but it changes nothing about the dynamic on that fundamental level. That there's one person who's like. I just got out of prison. I really want to sit in a lawn chair in my backyard and drink a beer and stare at the sun. And and the other person is like, I, I have decided a year ago that I am in love with this person yeah. and I need them to get a job. And yeah. and, and it's just like, wow, away yeah. we go. Rock 'em sock 'em robots. <laughs> yeah. Like, like and and, yeah. and, 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 and I Can really you imagine will casting see, like, that shit. I think the only grim thing about it is uh, is, is that after a while you kind of like start to realize that, oh, y- y- you know, yeah, w- nobody's getting out of prison with uh, autonomy. Like it's just sort of like if th- that starts to feel like 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 the, the, the bull at a bullfight coming out, and they're and like, um, what's that dart in a, in, the, in his back? Well, that's like. Right blend of chemicals that they're yeah. used to handicap this animal's natural uh, strength over the humans that have the swords. So like, it is, it's, it's like, well, everyone's coming out of prison completely addicted to being told what to do, and also having some kind of oppositional defiant like impulse in them. They're probably addicted to some chemical that they were either being supplied in in prison and or certainly did not get like adequate treatment for their addiction too, and uh, and a slew of other crazy like. Uh, personality dysfunctions that it, it's it's just really fun to watch. I, I I mean I would I would I would I would stop talking about it, but I don't I don't you know there's no. You show. got number two. What's uh, recommendation number two? 
Oh, they, they, it's uh, it's 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 not as exciting. I just thought it was a really good, well-produced reality show. It's about like the uh, remember. I think I might have mentioned it before. Um, uh, that that that. that uh, it's the real life version of the movie Nightcrawler. Like it's the guys that I can't remember the name of the show now. It's the it's the guys that go around um, L.A. and they shoot like um, news On footage scene. at yeah. like three in the morning, like car accidents and like chases and whatever news. Um, and there is like three three companies that are in competition with each other, and they all have histories with each other. And I so thought it was a really really fun show to watch. Um, are those um, are those guys the same as Pop Rots in that? Uh I know it's paparazzi, but I say paparazzi. Uh, are they the same? Uh, do they have the same background? Are they like uh, LA locals, or are they transplants from like Eastern Europe? Uh, well, it's a, the 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 show opens with and is produced by, and you're kind of like, oh, these are the these are the guys that are my favorite, and they also it's their it's the show that they made, but uh, the, but it's it's like br br British brothers, and the the first guy is just like he he he's an adrenaline junkie, like he. He, he, as far as he is concerned, f chasing police and ambulances, or, or 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 just trying to use the freeway system to get to an intersection point where you're going to get the perfect like that adrenaline is his idea of a perfect job, and then the only dilemma is how am I going to get paid to do this like yeah. in a way that's going to also feed my family and like w while other people are like doing it differently in a way that's going to. Box the mon pop uh, uh, corpse filming uh, out, out, out of the market. It's which I think is a real crime. What happened to the small business? <laughs> it's sort of like uh, uh, cheaters. There's two uh, two hosts, but one of them is clearly like into it. Cheaters. Yeah. Oh, that show where they go ch catch the people cheating. Yeah. There's two hosts because the yeah. first guy got stabbed. Didn't they? I always get thought stabbed? there were. I thought there were. Am I wrong about this? Aren't there two dude? Yeah. There's two. Thank you. Only one dude out here watching cheaters. <laughs> um, one of them is like, okay, let's go. And the other one's like, why were you here, Don Trell? <laughs> like he just really takes it personal. When maybe, he maybe, maybe one of them's a cheater. Yeah. So they're like, they're, they're, they're like well, I'm, I'm, I'm good at hosting the show because I have cheated. I'm not going to lie. My heart's not in it. <laughs> my heart's I kind of wish the guy it. would get away. Just want to just want to feel a little vicarious calm about cheating, <laughs> but I do know where they're gonna be, and like, like that's part of their job. Have you guys seen the commercial for the show about the like the task force that handles uh, child abduction? And the uh, the gimmick is that there's a new member of the team. She was a child abductee, and they don't. But and I, and I was like, that's a little. That's a little silly, and Cody's like, "Well, no, it's not." She would be, they do that on SVU, like you, the, you can relate to the victims, the cop. No, I'm like, yeah, as a victim, like if you had a trauma, like that, that's. But but they play it in the commercial, like she, like like it's like her superpower, like she's like, "I was abducted once. Check that shed. <laughs> they love sheds. You only knew one of them." <laughs> You're not a Ghostbuster. You're not Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> there was a shed uh, in Men in Black. Shrub, what have you been doing since you've had a house to yourself? Um, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I've, been, I've been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> I've been, do you, do you, uh, talking ma do you to my... masturbate past the point where like nothing comes out? Just a little bang sign. Not, not, for a, <laughs> not for a while. Not for a while. Cody went away for a week. And I, like, she's gone? No, she, well, she's back now. Oh, but. okay. Kate's gone until Saturday. It's like, fucked like, up like, when, uh, when they leave because you really, do, uh, you really do beat the little man up. And then they come back and they look at it and they're like, what the fuck did you do <laughs> while I was gone? And you're like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, <laughs> the little it's man. Just a, it's just not. Uh, <laughs> He's got a suit on. <laughs> the little man. You I beat the very, little man uh, up. <laughs> it's very good with Cody. Like I find, like I never had a really uh, like like like. Well, uh, I, like I, I just like, like uh, now when I, uh, I t it's just like it, it, it's like a it's like a ha it's like a halfsy thing now like uh, like I'm like oh it, he can't simulate the anymore. I have, I have like a relationship where it's like kind of 
it's uh, it's it's uh, I, what is this? It's not humble bragging. I'm just bragging. I, I, I but but I I never experienced that before where it was like like where you're like like okay well there's like a habit in my head where I'm like ooh time to jerk off like carte, carte blanche but like I could jerk off whenever I want in a healthy relationship and then on top of that like also the real thing is is kind of open and deep and <laughs> deep. Um, and, and loose, and there's an echo, and um, <laughs> oh. the oh, the, no. the, re the the real the real thing is 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 it's, v it's voluminous, and then and then and then the and then it's like now it's a kind of like this childish thing where I'm like, it's like a compulsion, and then it, like and it just feels like a little craft project, like a it's just like a. <laughs> 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 But it won't stop me from doing it again. Gross. And I was wondering Fucking if you craft project. You don't like have to Elmer's picture the Elmer's glue. Like what? Is yeah, that... like the, the gl glitter, glitter glue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you the gotta check it's, that out. It's the grossest thing you'll ever hear in your life. No. <laughs> <sighs> can we pretend we have a guest so I can I can sit down? Sure. Yeah. All right. Wow, the stage is empty tonight. Three lonely microphones sitting alone. Why don't you interview the microphones? Pretend they're guests. Yeah, let's get a little feedback. Microphone number one. How's your evening? Oh, that was for all the dads. It's for all the dads. Okay. Not proud of it. Had to do it. We've got our uh, uh, British... Uh, ladies of true crime coming. Uh, what's it? March tenth? Is that going to be? Will that be next week? These yes. are the hand people, the red-handed March eleventh red-handed right? podcast. I say this just in case you know. You know, there's an episode coming up where I'm going to be interviewing people, and they have a they have a podcast. So if you want, if you want to get out in front of it, yeah, and go like whoa, oh, oh, you'll have familiarity. We with don't the, we have a clip of, from that episode that we could show tonight to get people to. Into it, why don't we just check out the clip? Check out the clip there. Turn just turn around and look. You fucking idiot. There's no clip. How would we have a clip? It's in the future. Do you stand up the whole time? It depends. Why don't you be the guest? Yeah. Take a take a load off. Don't nobody want to hear about me. No, not true. We can. Um, I'm not we, that good an interviewer. I'm not, we're not going to learn that much about you. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, we can always pull somebody up too. Uh, no, don't. Oh, don't, oh no. I wish I could go back in time and stop. Just, let, I mean, let, like, remember like, French like, Spencer. Let, let me, let me, oh, oh. <laughs> let me, let me come around to that idea. Um, I just want to have a sense of control and comfort in my life. <laughs> I just want a permission to like myself again. I, uh, I just want to get over my approval addiction, my narcissism, uh, uh, my uh, fluctuating weight. Um, I would like, uh, I, would, I need a new pair of shoes. I, um, I, my, my, uh, here's something relatable. I, uh, 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 like at least, Two of my six surveillance cameras are hardly weatherproof. I, oh. I like, oh yeah. Uh, hello. When it's raining is when I want to see if there's someone outside. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm foggy at uh, when it's raining. Oh, great, great. Because when has anyone ever had a, a creepy person outside their house in the rain? You you got to get on those neighborhood things on on like Facebook. Oh, you those uh, uh, the next door app. I signed. I got on my it's next too much. door. Next door's too much. They want too much info. They'll they'll give out like your fucking location. I know it feels like it's just such a weird thing. I'm like yeah. I my my name is uh, Night Rider on there because I'm like no, well it just seems but it's like secret. well my because <laughs> uh, like because like Cody used like a code name and I'm like but other people are clearly not using a code name and then I'm like like oh because 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 I gave my first piece of advice because somebody lost their cat and I was like 
hey, I think I saw your cat in my backyard, and they had identified it as an outdoor cat, and I was like, you, I really don't want to be this this guy, and I wouldn't say this if if I had seen anyone else say it, because I, you, you're none of my beeswax, but I've got major coyote shit going on up here, and uh, and I. I had to say where I was. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm right up here, and I'm like, well, so what is it? Yeah, I guess I'm agreeing with you. I'm like, well, how can you have like a next door app kind of thing without everybody just having your address? Here and we then go. It's, it's here not we go. like there's a uh, Facebook. So what? on the old Facebook, every neighborhood has a group, right? And mm-hmm. you can get on. You don't have to. You don't have to like do anything other than just look at that page because it'll tell you what's going on immediately. Like somebody will be like, uh, I heard gunshots, and then four or five people will be like, I heard gunshots in this location. And you can, you don't have to use, you know, you don't have to give up your actual like info. Next I door had a is friend. Sketch. I don't know. I, I I I don't know if they want credit for this insight or not. So I'm going to give them their anonymity. But I have a friend who we were talking about the next door app, and they said it, it, it's uh, it's just a uh, I don't know how they phrased it, but they basically implied like. It's just making people more racist. It's just a bunch of people like sh- comp- saying, "There's a a, a brown skinned girl casing my house," and people are like, like, like now just using the word "casing" to r- yeah. refer to pedestrians in their neighborhood. Like everyone wants to be the first person to notice someone casing their house. That's why Facebook's great because there's um, there's a lot of different ethnicities watching people post. So if somebody's like. Took a picture of this dude. I think he stole my bike. But like, but 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 fifty people jump. I, I need on to and, try to understand w- 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 this thing though, because to the extent that it's accountable to the planet, how is it? I guess the idea is, d- if you if you if you seal it off, then that's like the psychological equivalent of a gated community. It kind of promotes this sort of white flight maybe mentality, where it's like our neighborhood is precious and and as opposed to our neighborhood is something that only we care about and it keeps it positive it's a permeable membrane yeah it's like greenhouse gas like uh you need to get that shit out yeah you can't trap it in you can't have them in the greenhouse for sure (laughs) because (laughs) if if you're if you're if you're comporting yourself when you talk to your neighbors about your neighborhood in a way that only that that is suitable for the planet to comment on that's a good Exercise. Yeah, it keeps us all neighborly. If you know that you have to speak about the neighborhood in a way that your neighbors won't get pissed about. Here's the thing that I I, I already hate because I knew I was going to see it. I I just it's the 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 architecture snobbery. Like like the the, the way people force it in. It's like a running gag. Like someone will go lost cat. Um, I lost my cat. Its name's Vanilla. It answers to anything because it's a fucking cat. It does. It does a, it's never answered to anything in its life. Its brain is a cluster of nerves in its head, and it's uh, it, it owns us. Um, but uh, I'm a I, I love cats. But the 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 the, 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 the sorry, derailed myself. But like like oh, I haven't seen my cat, and then like it'll be a couple comments like oh I think uh, I had a cat like that once, or someone will go yeah. like, I think I saw that cat, and then like third one will be uh, well. Maybe it uh, uh, broke its own neck while turning it <laughs> away from the eyesore on the corner of... <laughs> and, and then everyone's like, yo, that fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Like, who builds to, out, right out to the property line? Like, I hate modern architecture. Yeah, what is the... Bit of it? I'm like, what are you fuck? Like, like, I don't know. Like, You will lose hours looking at that shit because on Facebook they're mad that the Whole Foods 360 is now just going to be a regular Whole Foods... <laughs> it's like a huge. I guess huge I guess some of that deal. stuff I find important, but I draw the line. I don't know why I draw the line. I know why I draw the line because it's something I don't, I don't know about, and I don't. But I just feel like, well, goddamn, dude, we 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 sell each other uh, lots of land, uh, like in these parcels. You don't even. You're not even allowed to dig down and like just AT and T owns everything five feet underneath your fire hydrant and mobile is licensing any aluminum you might find from. <laughs> you're not. You don't even really own the fucking land anymore. If yeah. you if you want to build a tree house and you, 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 the, the, the if they want to they can come kick it down and write Jew on your forehead. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it just feels like those are the times we're living in and. Uh, 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 the uh, <laughs> if you if you 
I just I just can't stand that idea that on top of that, then your neighbors are like judging you based on like, oh, like oh, his his front door is like right next to the sidewalk. Well, yeah. if that's what they want, I Who I will tell you that cares? LA is. A, <laughs> Who cares? I mean, I well, think they care because they, they have a general. Te- I understand that they're like maybe more classically educated than I me. Or they're more I like, think there's something wrong with me because I just don't care. I about definitely that. would never notice a fucking be, eyesore in my. I would be like. Who? How does that affect me? I, why? Why spend time thinking about it? But the only thing that I'll do? think is that I'll go like, well, maybe for those people, maybe when they look out their front door when they walk their dog, maybe they're having that. Maybe they have the same uncontrollable reaction to looking down their sidewalk that I have. Maybe at looking at your punctuation or something. I'm not a grammar master, but like if you use the wrong form of your or something, like like maybe maybe some people just couldn't give a piss about that and they yeah. won't get hung up about it. And, and, uh, and, and maybe it, like, maybe if it's, if, 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 if I could understand that everyone was just being the way that they really are. Yeah. But you're, yeah. you're a writer and you're a word person. Like your, 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 your life is words these people are just looking at a house, and they're not architects. Well, they're I don't, not but door I don't, builders. But I, but they're my, not like line. But drawers. my vocation isn't the reason why I. I, I that's I, it, that's a byproduct of the fact that I I care about the aesthetics of a of of letters on on a screen. You know, like it, it, it's. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm saying it's. It's a kind of an LA uh, thing to shit talk. Uh, architecture. Though. I just don't. Yeah, I, I, so I, it's it makes, I like, guess it makes me feel insecure because I, I, I feel like a, I feel like a lower class person that like made good and moved to LA, and I was just have this like, I just, I've never felt like, like I understand. You can't buy class, you know. And then like, I, I just have this panic when people are like. You know, oh, what are the, what are these people Armenian? Why do they have columns in their uh, thing? And it's like, well, what, because what they're, they because are. they're because they because they fucking they are because they worked their whole what life to are. fucking have a house. What the fuck? They like, like columns. Well, you want their the house columns. to look like yours? Yeah. You want you, Everyone exactly. wants to be the first act of Beetlejuice. Like yeah. that's gonna make you. Ha- I, I just. I mean, I, we uh, <laughs> we uh, we always give this place a hard. It, it, it's a weird thing. I think you. People in LA tend to shit talk it. You get to this period where you don't shit talk it, and then I think you shit talk it again after like after your first year here. You're like, fuck this place. There's no jazz and no tall buildings, and there's no downtown, and, <laughs> and then you love there's it. There's no jazz and tall buildings, <laughs> right? And then, you, and then five, where should I live? Where should I live? <laughs> and then five years later, you're like, fucking traffic, and I can't pay my rent. And then ten years later, you're like into the groove, and you're not complaining about that shit, but you're complaining. You're like, look at this fucking French gate on this Spanish house with this Japanese. Roof. Right. We put AstroTurf on the porch. I pay too much rent to have to live across the street. You think that's from like that hodgepodge house? It's like settling in. It's like it's like like the Steve Martin observation about how it's beautiful that everyone that comes out here can be in their own world. Yeah, like that actually is still a valid observation. I think it's you're still stuck how I in think everybody's heaven. But like there maybe I, I'm gonna sound like a really jaded, nasty person, but I'll just. What, 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 uh, if I choose my words right, everyone's gonna like me, right? The, the, uh, it, 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 it almost it seems like what you're describing is like you, you, you settle into kind of a, well, I guess I live in LA now in spite of the fact that I really don't want to anymore. Oh, or you're like, you're, pa- you're, you're kind of like, well, I guess this is where I live now. Like, it's, it's and it's not because I'm talk. like, I got an audition on Thursday that might like mean. My few like like LA is like very much thrives on this anticipation energy, but there's certainly not enough anticipation to go around for the however many millions of people live in LA. No, so the many people do have to provide us with the foundation of a society, which is for them to settle in and go like, well, this neighborhood hasn't been the same since they open that booby boob. Uh, yeah. you know, and, and they, but most people are like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Throw a right. Snickers bar out the window. I'm about to be Spielberg. <laughs> right. It makes you feel, that's why I've just sent a, I always send a special shout out to people from Los Angeles. Cause I'm like, you guys have to put up with so many people coming here and fucking this place up. It's amazing that they hang on to any authenticity. And I think one of the ways that they do that is by complaining about the shit that we build because we missed Wisconsin or we missed Kansas. So we're like, man, I gotta build a fucking house out of wood. 
instead of building what they actually build with out of here. So you see these neighborhoods that are like ding dong ding, all sorts of different shit. And I think that's that's how we live. We live by complaining about the place but loving it. You know? I yeah. think. Well, I wish the I wish they could put a lo- I wish they could remember the love a little bit. Maybe I think they, Los Angelinos love it. What lo- love the- love hating uh, uh, gaudy houses. Yeah, I, well, I just, I just want them to smile then, like when you love something. Like, like, I, I, like they're, I, I think I, the locals, you know, the locals love it. If they're from here, they don't leave. They don't kick us out. They don't make it too hard to transplant here. I, I think it's, like I said, I, you know, I think it's us. We get here and we're like, oh, give me my shit. And then LA is like, <laughs> and if you're yeah. lucky, you live here long enough to complain about the pagoda that just got built. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I guess, it, but then, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll join in. I'll, I'll, I'll process <laughs> myself. I'll, uh, I'll go. Okay, but Dan, are you telling me that there's nothing that your next door neighbor can do to make you want to raise a complaint with some council or something? Well, I think probably not ever never i mean i can't imagine that but 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 i will i mean a thing that would 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 make me wish that they would do something different i guess it would just be about the kind of empirical demonstrations of squalor the, like 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 so while i while here i am sitting here saying to people who have an opinion about a a gray slab of concrete like <laughs> right uh, that you have to steer around when you drive uh past their house because they wanted to make the most out of every square inch of the property they 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 they're built on um and i'm saying to those people that have a complaint about that hey relax but well okay it's worth noting that if you had an engine block on the on your front lawn well i probably would never come to say anything about it except to Cody I would I, I I would every time I saw it I'd be like well you make it look like we're unhappy yeah. you know so I have I have aesthetic opinions they're just lower class ones band practice <laughs> those are the two words that would get you to speak to your neighbor oh no I, well, I, I mean I, uh, I I don't know I mean yeah. I've, I've sat in my bed and there's been like people playing music so loud that I got neighbors texting me yeah they're like is that you? No, it's not. I think that's so and so. I don't know who it is. It's loud over here too. I, I, Cody, while I wasn't there once, went over and talked to some people. I think there's an Airbnb near my place. Rob Cordry stayed there. Snitch. Uh, <laughs> no, he 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 snitched. Snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Snitch. He was doing work at his house, and he he saw my Wi-Fi at the Airbnb he was staying at. You remember? It was, um, and, and, how did he know? Uh, it was, how did he know it was yours? He says this Harmon Wi-Fi. Oh God! <laughs> damn it! And I God still haven't it. changed it. I still haven't changed it. You got to encrypt that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Get, you get, come on my Wi-Fi. You get what you deserve. <laughs> I hope you. I hope you access my camera at just. At, I hope you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Choke on it. Choke on me rubbing my nipple while I grunt horrible <laughs> minotaur-like <laughs> expressions under my breath. Like, yeah. Full uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I say anything while I'm jerking off. I. <laughs> like if a Superman could tell you. Superman. Do you think if you if you if, if you if you were if you were in a feud with Superman, like you could like you could the cool thing is that if you had like a confrontation with him in public, he could be like, "You fucking cocksucker." <laughs> you know I can hear you, right? <laughs> what are you talking about, nerd? <laughs> My family's not on Earth. Why are you obsessed with your family? Wow. Everyone has a. F- why are you talking wow. to me? I don't even know you. I'm gonna fucking destroy your life. I'm gonna become. I would love it if Lex Luthor <laughs> talked like that. Why are you talking to me? I don't even know you. <laughs> Stop it! Leave me alone! Oh my god! <laughs> Get over yourself once. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of DC stuff uh, last couple of weeks. I know what I think. Oh, there's a you had to. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a there's an episode. It's a, it's a series of the comic books, and then they made a direct-to-video movie oh. out of it. Now you've got my attention. 
DC, you say? <laughs> well, because he's paying attention. Oh. He's like, oh, you've been staying in bed for oh. two weeks in your pajamas and you're, you're watching oh, all that I'm DC interested. stuff. I'm interested. And you're chasing a deadline, and you're not. Uh, they, but um, the I, I, there's this uh, there's this series where Batman and Superman. It's called Batman and Superman uh, Public Enemies. Uh, you see that one? The, they, they made a direct-to-video movie uh, uh, with it, and uh, live action, of course. Lex Luthor's president, and uh, it's not live action. Uh, Who's playing Batman? I don't know who's playing Batman and Superman. It's, it's interesting to see all of the, the same guy I'm watching all the Lego and the Paul Dini and the whatever's and the Fernie Bini. The which some, sometimes it's Chris Parnell is playing Superman. Uh, and you go like it's a, it's a funny like recognizing voices and see how Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy Brown, Tom Clancy. You know Tom Clancy. I have, I have never not called Clancy Brown Tom Clancy the first Tom. time. <laughs> <laughs> Clancy Brown is Tom always, Clancy. so consistently Lex Luthor. Got, I really like his voice. We got Tom Lex Clancy Luther. to be the voice of Superman. That's amazing. What does he sound like? <laughs> do I've think, only read his voice. Do you think do you think Tom Clancy is at all alive? Like 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 how has anyone ever seen him? Isn't he like Chef Boyardee? There's no <laughs> How could he ever? There's no fucking way no. Tom Clancy is anything but a, like a talking night vision scope uh, <laughs> on the mantle of a unicorn's dream. I, it, it, like, 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 what would he be? He's more, he's more idea than person. Person. I mean, mm -hmm. his, what, what, what is it, like, <laughs> he's is he in like a heart and lung machine and like going like, what's the latest kind of assault rifle? <laughs> Like, are, are, they, are, they, are they, like, bringing video games by and going, like, Tom, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, another, uh, it's another Call of Duty type thing, but there's a zombie add-on pack, and it just, it's still got your name on it. Give me that. Put my glasses on, Sophia. <laughs> Alone in a world he didn't create. What is this shoe leather? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, is this uh, first person? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, actually uh, over the shoulder third person. Uh, wrong answer. <laughs> Goodbye. Clancy out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Add another ion lithium cell to my space station. <laughs> Tom Clancy's 240 years old if he's a day. Yeah. He, or, 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 or was he, when, when we were watching Hunt for Red October, was Tom Clancy like a greaser? Was he like, hey, chickadees? <laughs> hey, baby, relax. I'm 16. I'm wearing a leather jacket. I just wrote this Hunt for Red October, baby. Because <laughs> otherwise, he's 200 years old today. Right. Because greatest that was a impression. million years ago. <laughs> it's the greatest impression of a 16-year-old ever. <laughs> hey, <laughs> baby. hey, we're going to go to Lover's Lane. Come on, it's all about So we locked, we locked Tom Clancy for the voice of Superman. And uh, Mr. Warner Bros., I think you're going to like we, what we've done. We've Here, good. watch the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Superman. <sighs> Is this a private party? Or can anyone join? Luther, you've gone mad. Do you really think the Justice League will bow to your campaign? You need to get out of here, Superman. It's me and Rice. <laughs> This party doesn't need you. I'm Catwoman, Anne Rice. Okay. <laughs> Anne you, uh, Rice. Is, is, Catwoman. Is she supposed to say her name? Was I supposed to say my name? No, no. I, I no. can see through your clothes. I've got vampire sight. I'm Anne Rice, oh Catwoman. My, oh, my You're God. Fine. She's combining her own mythology with the... S stop looking at the camera when you're thinking uh, about saying stuff out loud. You're so I can't go to Atlantis. Aquaman's depth filters out the radiation from the yellow sun, sapping my strength. Hey, I'm Dina Kuntz, and I'm Aquaman. 
Gene Arcoons. I'm Gene Arcoons. I'm Aquaman. All right, everybody, let's get into my Aqua Aqua Bus, and uh, Dean Arcoons is going to take you all the way. All the way down. Now, everybody get on board, yeah? <laughs> Why is everyone identifying with themselves? As okay, a- okay. Just, let's just cut the chatter. I know I talk to fish. Let, let's get past that. That joke hasn't been funny for 30 years. All right, everybody get on the bus. We're going down. Uh, Which way? We, where are we going, Soups? I hope up so okay. I can regather strength. All right. <laughs> we can only go to the surface of the water, though. This isn't the flying aqua bus. Uh, we can go anywhere we want to. It's me, Frozone, played by Alex Haley of Roots fame. <laughs> Fro- Frozone? That's a crossover. From Incredible. Oh, Frozone. From, from a, GI, a black exploitation G.I. Joe? In- no. In- What's from Frozone? Who's Frozone? Incredible. From the Incredible. Oh, Incredible. His we name is a- Frozone? We had a toy tie-in, so they asked me Where to stop by. Where is my super suit? Now His name's remember? Frozone? Frozone. That's kind of cool. Frozone. I should watch that movie. <laughs> Actually, wasn't it? I saw the incre- the first Incredibles. Was it? Is it? So great. Did, did everybody suffer this effect? Like the when the Incredibles two came out, didn't you th- think it was Incredibles three because the, the 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 Incredibles was so long ago? But also to their credit, it was so kind of it hit the spot and it, it felt did. like you had had. You're like, oh, it must have been two Incredibles movies because yeah. it's been long enough for, to be a third one. I, they referenced I, it. If I was a person working, oh, they did. Yeah, they referenced the amount of time it took. Yeah. I would just, I would, uh, yeah. If you if you worked on the Incredibles, I didn't see the second one, but uh, loved it. <laughs> uh, but 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 I wanted to let you know that my reaction to your advertising uh, 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 was good job on the first movie. <laughs> so get that gun out of your mouth, you <laughs> you, you, you you little three D modeler. <laughs> this uh, you're you're in a you're in a cubicle on a sunray. You're gonna. That thing's gonna slowly move up, like the like the uh, handicapped lady in the gremlins chair. Take you all the way upstairs oh. to a gremlin-free retirement. So uh, let's show that clip. <laughs> we don't have it. Okay. We don't have it. Oof. George R. R. Martin <laughs> as the Flash. <laughs> I have formed a perimeter around the bank. Okay, so there's a Flash TV series, right? <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Are there episodes? It's already canceled after 10 seasons. Oh, and it premiered yesterday. Right. It's such wow. a fast show. <laughs> For the dads. Like, out there. I want to I wanna know the this. And I know, I, I want to. I've never watched the show. Are there any episodes where. It doesn't end with him not Tripping. running fast. Oh. <laughs> because if there are, um, why am I tuning in? You know? I mean, like, seriously. Okay, like, okay, well, at the end of the episode, shit, how are we going to get that? Well, I could run fast. Like, na 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 I mean, like, really? I mean, like, is there any episodes like, you know, I'm not going to run fast this week. I'm just going to use my detective mind to figure out who <laughs> right. stole the jewels. And all the cops are like, yeah, maybe just maybe run fast. Like, maybe we'll, tell, the, you, we'll yeah. tell you the clues and yeah. you can, like, cover more ground. Yeah, you're not, you're not really here because, because you're a really good detective. You're here because you run fast. So why don't you, why don't you run fast? <laughs> And leave the driving to us, okay? <laughs> you know? Why don't you run fast? I mean, what do they do? The third episode. Do we have a, do we have any hardcore flash fans like yeah. like 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 it's like your jam? Oh good. It's that section. Is it the are, No are, one Yeah, I love be, that this audience was like, No, you're not, man. Uh, <laughs> don't no, lie to you. Knowing Dan. that this is a temple in which honesty is rewarded above all, are you Tiger Man? Okay. Do you want to come up and talk about the flash? Okay, we won't pick on you. Because it, 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 and also you could have been Tiger Man. That was my point. Like, like we don't we don't judge anybody here. <laughs> so you, you can, know you, you know you wanna, a lot about. If you want to come up and share your love of the Flash? Well, you you could also stay right there. I don't, that'd be great too. It was just a fucking passing impulse. 
I, if, I, I mean, it's not if, the price is right, but you know. If you're waiting for him to, to ask a fourth time <laughs> to right. come up on stage, it might not happen. Okay. Oh, yeah. there you go. For a fan of The Flash, you are walking pretty slow. Well, that might be. That's I, Superman was created by uh, two like 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 Jewish kids that were like. Uh, What'd you the... say to Brandon? <laughs> What'd you say to Brandon? Brandon left. Uh, Brandon just left. What'd left. you say to I'm Brandon? Sorry, Brandon? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that to you. What's your name? Jocko. Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. Do, do, do your friends call you Jocko? Is that what you said Jocko yeah. first? It's my eat, last name. Eat that, eat that mic as a rule. Yeah. Jocko so, is my last name. Yeah. Oh, wait. Your name's Jacob Jocko? Jocko, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jacob Chaco? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, brother. Well, sorry. We, I guess we doxed you. I guess the kid's calling that. We can edit your full name out if you want. That's easy. I don't mind. It's fine. All right. You, the, so, uh, p- people will find you on Facebook and you'll, uh, your life will be ruined. Um, oh, you, you having a donut with an Oreo on it? Was like, somebody, somebody gave those to us as a gift. Thank you, whoever gave us the donuts. Thank you. Um, j- uh, <laughs> Jacob, uh, w- give us some background. You, you look a little young. Can you tell us how old you are? Otherwise, I won't ask. I'm 36. Okay. So. Well, you're taking good care of yourself. Well... <laughs> I gave up a little while ago. But yeah, yeah. I, n- I never ask people I think are over 30 how old they are. Oh, thank you. Uh, 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 so I thought you were like uh, 12. Fantastic. You have as many donuts as you want. I will keep going, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, you live in L.A.? Yeah, I live in Venice Beach. Oh. Do you, you, okay, what's the... Uh, wh- wh- do you wh- drink alcohol? All the time. Great. Do you want? Do you just want wanted, some? You can I have got it. I just wanted to make sure oh, okay. that you did because there's alcohol. Is that, oh, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, when does your relationship with the Flash start? Uh, I I read comic books my whole life, but uh, I, I watched even the old '90s series of the Flash. But I've watched the new one too. Was there a TV series in the '90s that was the Flash? Yeah, there yeah. was. I vaguely remember it as a kid. Mark Hamill was on it as the was it like yeah, he was a w- WB. What was it? What, what, what it was network? right after like Ooh, the there first Tim Burton back then. Batman. Wait, what? What did you say? It was right after the first like Tim Burton Batman. It was like 1990. Or <sighs> yeah, I think I like maybe that. vaguely remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was uh, David Duchovny, right, as the Flash. <laughs> I don't think it was David. Duchovny. It just didn't work. He just has this like natural kind of. I'm not going to say he's sluggish, but he's people not, don't people don't admire him for his speed. Yeah, that's not quite him. Um, but but uh, you slow down on that donut, man. You got a lot of work to do. You got a lot of work to do, bro. You can put it down, man. Them don't chairs let, are clean. Don't let him flash shame you, man. Maybe you eat your donuts fast. <laughs> Um, the, uh, so what, but, but, uh, all right. Yeah. Just, I mean, just, uh, take us into your, so here's my thing with the flash. You, you were mentioning him and you were asking about his cop work. He's a CSI agent. He's a CSI agent. Yeah. So he, he does like the background work and and he's more than just fast. He he also, so he doesn't need the superpower. It's just a bonus. No, no, it's, it's, I would imagine, (laughs) I would imagine it's, it's pretty valuable. (laughs) As a CSI agent to yeah, get... it's just a bonus. I mean... <laughs> Best superhero ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's a really he good detective. He to society before he had the Flash powers. Then he, then he was a Flash. It was great. Is the CI, CSI agent gig, is that like the equivalent of, of Clark Kent's uh, Daily Planet gig? That's, yeah. that's his alter ego? Yeah, Is basically. that Barry Allen? Is that his name? Barry Allen, yeah. Um, and uh, so when he's fighting crime... He's not. So it's, it, it's a, he's like, okay, does he, does he, so this is the thing about the Flash that I don't understand because it's like, it's sort of like if there was a character named like the, the breather and he was like, it's like, I, I breathe, I get more oxygen per, it's, it's, there, there's a so what question of it. It's kind of like, like, like he's moving, he's going to move faster than regular narrative. So like if he's fighting the Kingpin, the Kingpin's going to be like, I'm going to rob that bank. And then the Flash is like, I heard you're going to rob the, anyways, I, 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 what, what does he do? What does the Flash do? Does he like punch people? Yeah, mostly at the end of episodes, he'll punch people sometimes. He'll throw Faster than they can block it, which Switch is just eat punching that mic. down. How? Eat that how? mic a little bit. How? Me? No, no how? you always... <laughs> How does being fast make him a better detective? 
Other than catching somebody that's running away. Right. Other than that, I mean, like, does he find clues faster? Mm. Does he clean up his desk quicker? It's is mostly he off camera, but I think he's running the tests faster, maybe. Tests. Uh, what tests? He has to take tests? Blood tests. Blood tests know. with a mixing motion. He does that faster than a really human fast. being. Yeah, you he's, gotta, you he's gotta... titrating really fast and... Yeah, all right, but that's all. That's like Clark Kent maybe types faster when no one's looking. But but we're talking. The, 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 you're talking. That's him. That's him when he goes to work. Right. The Flash doesn't fight crime by swabbing anything. I assume he's no. tr- otherwise he wouldn't wear that outfit. No. He, he, would, he would just wear a lab coat and be fast. See, he he gets in that outfit mm-hmm. when something requires it. Right. And so he's out there and he's gonna run fast. And by running fast, he's saving the day from villains. Right. By I, catching them, m- m- catching if, them, hitting them with lightning. He, he he hit. He had okay. Wait, he has lightning powers. If he runs in a circle fast enough, he can shoot lightning at people. And he does that all the time. <laughs> every third episode, at least. He Why not them. every episode? Why do you, I mean, like, he should be using that to open the door. <laughs> You would think, but no, he, he kind of saves it. I, it's his budgetary. That's his problem. blazing sword. He Does he punch and it. kick a lot? Because it seems like you could say if he's, I mean, Jackie Chan's efficacy is like a lot of training, but also like, oh my God, he's Super so fast. fast. Right. So here we have the fastest guy in the world. So like, even if he's not Jackie Chan, which would actually be kind of funny if he wasn't, right. that would be amazing if he was just like kind of. Like, <laughs> and and but he's just so fast. He gets like nine attacks in before. That's actually more like what he does. Is yeah. he's not very effective, but he he throws them out. A okay, lot. okay, okay. Let me ask you this. Okay, yeah. so he can run <laughs> fast. He can move his legs really fast. <laughs> yeah. And he can move his arms fast. He can right. move his fingers fast. And he can probably blink fast, right? He can read fast, too. He can read fast. Yeah. Okay, so he Speed can reading. mentally so his think. his brain that, is faster. Yeah. Right, brain is faster. That's... So is his. Heart beating faster? Is his blood going faster? I mean, here's where I'm getting right. at. Does he digest food faster? Uh, like if he's like, there's some people who write him like that, where he he needs to eat more food. But so I, he's like, I just I have to shit. <laughs> I just I just ate a Cheerio and now I gotta poop. That would make sense. Yeah, he must be shitting a lot. Which is was there an issue about that? I haven't read that one yet. But. It's, it's right. interesting that you say some people write him that way. Right. Are there other uh, things like that? Are there things that don't exist in uh, certain writers' uh, Flash version? Oh, I, all comic books. Sorry. It's, no. uh, this is the podcast for Dan Harmon interrupting people. And <laughs> Go ahead, Jacob. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the expert on the Flash, but... Yeah, I think different writers take different liberties with him. I remember, yeah, Kid Flash jumped out there and... He got shot in the knee one episode, and then the next issue, he was in the library for the whole time and learned a bunch of stuff. He wasn't. He he didn't. So he can't heal fast. Uh, that too. That it was just one issue that he was out with the knee. I think it's really important to know whether or not he thinks faster, because I want to know if Martian Mind Hunter, my man, man Hunter, uh, uh, if, if, if he hunts more minds than men usually. <laughs> so to be fair, but whose name makes sense in the right. DC universe? Right. The, 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 but if Martian Man Hunter was reading Flash's mind. Maybe that would be a fun thing where he's like, "Well, I can't fucking understand a goddamn thing he's thinking because yeah. it's, it's like uh, it's like listening to a squirrel." Uh, uh, I think but, you might have just broke something there. That's something that hasn't been done. But so. then I think it's like, like flat. It'd be fun to think about the dialogue that way because they they always treat the Flash like he's either a cut up, right, or he's an idiot. Like he's sort of like the like the. They, they they treat him like like in the current like DC film universe like he's kind of like the, the combination of like the Troy uh, on Community. I'm referencing classics. I love it. So that we yeah. have a benchmark. I'm a big fan. Like he's like he's the he's the everyman kind of thing, or he's just like well that here's how dope that was kind of thing. Like he's I like think he's he the youngster. He plays it down honestly, where he's like I just want to be part of the team. Right. And, and I'm and a it's really like, good detective. <laughs> I'm a really good detective. I mean, we got uh, Batman here, so I don't need to be Who's the, the world's greatest detective, so... Right. But he don't run fast, so it evens out. But it's right? a, it, I think the most interesting thing in the world, because, oh, I mean, I, yeah, because if, like, every, like, every, like every line of dialogue for The Flash, if you were just to, like, run yeah. through the exercise of, like, all right, I've got... I'm going to take three hours to to edit this and write it and all this stuff, and that he, like... 
you know, knowing that he has the power to do that, how does shit come out? And like the end result of that, when you look through the comic book and they're like, it might, it would probably manifest itself as he would be very stoic Mm -hmm. and which would make him, it would be like, Oh, I get it. He talks, uh, uh, very infrequently and uh, he only says like a couple things and uh, it, 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 and so they're, they're doing this contrast thing but then every once in a while he'd have like this full dialogue balloon because it took him exactly three hours to like he's like I'm just fucking sending this like like, like you know he like edited it as much as he could but it was like, like he got triggered so much that he had that and it's just like you, you without warning this guy who usually talks like Groot like like all of a sudden it's like <laughs> well the thing is you've been thinking twice about that there's 70% income you should be more considerate of people and you're just like what the fuck <laughs> Da, da, da. Does he listen? That was the eighteen theme. Does he? <laughs> does he listen faster? Like if he heard himself That's talk, he does he mature? Understand. Does it? Does he? Does he? Does he get woke faster? Was he oh. like? Did he realize does he, he had been fucking women up like like faster. in two thousand sixteen? <laughs> like, like, got out like, ahead of it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, God is damn he it. constantly shaving? I mean, like, is I mean, like, is he growing faster, huh? Well, if he does everything faster... Does his favorite color look like a Nintendo (laughs) power-up? Oh, no. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I didn't... I mean, I riffed Nintendo power-up. That's what you're sensing. (laughs) What do you mean? What does that mean, Dan? Fake it till you make it? I was trying to imagine like a a 16-bit thing where like the color is cycling, but... You know, because his fa- his favorite color keeps changing. It's it's between like red and yellow, gold. I don't know. You don't know those are his favorite colors. I mean, what, what if he he's, what if he's like Batman and he's like, this will strike fear in my enemies, red and gold. This will f- strike fear in slow things. <laughs> It'll he, go away from me, and I'll go the opposite way. I am most interested in his metabolism. Didn't they talk about that a little bit when Ben Affleck went to his? Uh, yeah, uh, they did a little cave. bit in the new Justice League, but yeah, they talked been a little bit a about. It. But they, they've changed him now into a person that's actually uh, creating. He's, he's oh, he's not actually fast because that raises too many questions. Probably it's easier to say that he travels through a fucking excuse me. A conduit of li- lightning. Yeah, my favorite rendition of him is he accesses the speed force, which is another dimension, and gives him all sorts of access to slowing down reality for the way he perceives. I kind of like that idea that that he's that of him as a as a uh, as a walking Inception uh, pop up during a battle yeah. that he's going to do what he's going to do. And the key to using the flash, right, is to give him explicit instructions because you're not going to have another chance. Right. And and it's better to use him, like, if you don't have a, a really good plan for him, you should just tell him, like, uh, uh, like when in doubt, stop everyone from being hurt or something yeah. like that. And that you're, you're, you're checking back in with him it, 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 in a way that's like, how it would look from the perspective of like plant life or something. He's behind the, the scenes making all yeah. sorts of moves and we're all just, oh, you're here. Yeah. You're doing your thing. Jacob, why do you know so much about The Flash? <laughs> I've, I've been reading comic books since, I don't know, I was 10 years old. So yeah, I, eat that mic, Jacob. I, he's been reading, co- I've been reading comic books since I was like 10 years old, so. Awesome. Who, yeah. And uh, Who? brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have an older sister. She lives here in Los Angeles. On an emotional level, yeah. On a personal level, yeah. is there a connection to the Flash? That's like you're like, the, like okay. So just an example, like the day it was like Tony Stark was like, "Here's my kryptonite. I love booze." <laughs> um, I was like, sold. Like like like, <laughs> how can you get better than this person? Like yeah. like like, it, 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 it was there. Was there like a Flash? Thing. A moment for me with Flash. Uh, well, for me, the f- the Flash moment for me was when uh, Kid Flash got shot in the knee, and he said, "Who am I?" And he and he I think went I'll to, go the, to library. the library. Yeah, he went to the library, and he said, "I'm I'm gonna read some things. I'm gonna I'm gonna be better, a better person." And and then I thought, you know, it was more than just the powers. It was. He got wait. I'm sorry. He got shot in the knee. 
he was he he was he was a baby Flash, and he was already fast. Yeah. So actually, this wasn't even Barry Allen. This was his okay. grandson or whatever. And he gets shot in the knee by Deathstroke in an issue. Oh, because Deathstroke can't he, even the Flash. He can't even a baby Flash. He can't miss. He can't. He, can't, he, he figured it out. Right. He timed him out. And he shot him in the knee. Took him out. <laughs> Sent him to the library. And then, Congratulations, and Mrs. Deathstroke. Deathstroke's mom. You must be very proud. <laughs> he shot Baby Flash in the knee. He is officially... Yes, good job. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of Deadshot. That's the guy who's always bragging about how he never misses. You said Deathstroke. Death, He's yeah. different from Deadshot. Deathstroke yeah, right. is just like, like it looks like Deadpool and he just right. strokes to death. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail you. Uh, that, that was probably my my favorite Flash moment. But Captain America has always been. Boo, my whoa, guy. Whoa, wait. So is it because Baby Flash, having been <laughs> shot in the knee, was like, well, I'm still fast. I'm gonna go to the library. Yeah, and, it was more about get like a self examination. How do I grow as a person? I'm I'm not a good superhero. I, I let down my whole team, and I'm shot in the knee. I can't run fast anymore. So what am I worth? Oh. And he went and explored himself and. He came back and, you know, he, he made a difference. Did he, like, learn any new talents? He learned all sorts of chemistry and bio. I don't know. I don't he know was learning. Exactly he was, he, was he learning faster? Yeah, he was learning way faster. So he, he read like the PhD library. By the end of it, you know? <laughs> Baby who's, fast, who's faster? Who's faster? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Flash or Superman, go. Flash, no doubt. But well, faster than Superman? No doubt. Now, they who forced. swims faster? Flash or Aquaman? Spins faster. Swims, Swims. Swims faster. faster. Oh. But who does flash. spin faster? <laughs> I'll go with the Flash. In any scenario, space, water, air, anywhere, Flash is, is the fastest. How come, how come Superman and Flash are always having races and then they're like neck and neck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think Flash is just, you know, trying to throw him a bone. Really? It's, he it's, seems so uptight about it. The Flash? Yeah, he, he doesn't seem like he's throwing anyone a bone. Of the two of them, who's more uptight, Superman or Flash? Flash is having fun. I don't think... Su I think Superman wishes he was slower. <laughs> I, 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 th I, think, I don't think Superman is the kind of guy that's like, I should race you. I, think I heard your name he is The Flash. I think that's why he enjoys racing The Flash. He's like, oh, this is one time I can let loose. This is one time I might lose. And I'm going to lose. Which says a lot about Superman, i.e. Okay. that he, yeah, he's coming in low. Yeah. He wants Has to lose. So, the, so that flies in the face of the theory that yeah. Flash is throwing Superman a bone. The, the, okay. oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. No, maybe we're both right and wrong. I get it. I get okay, it now. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Superman is the provocateur because he's so masochistic. He's like, hey, you want to race? I hope I lose. I hope I lose. Oh. Superman, so dark. I think so. I yeah. think that's like the most forgiving reading of Superman, but yeah. Yeah. Has the Flash. <laughs> okay, so the Flash, I know he can run across water because he's so fast. Yeah. So can Superman. They often that, race around the world. Right. Water okay, off. so, so, is the so, base so, level of the so, Flash. so my question is, yeah. and I think you've already answered it, has the Flash ran across the ocean? Yeah, he's run all across the whole planet many times. Yeah, yeah. he'll do it. He, he won't even get on a plane. He's like, I'd rather run across the ocean. Yeah, I'm not even gonna put on the suit. Right? <laughs> Does he put that on? Because fast? also, no one's gonna go. Does he what? Barry <laughs> Allen is the Flash. This changes everything. Yeah, catch me, fuck if it head. Oh my God, that's Arthur Curry. <laughs> yeah, try to catch him. I'm carrying him. Alex Haley is frozen. <laughs> 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 if the Flash is running across the ocean and Aquaman <laughs> is uh, trying to, if the let's say the Riddler's in the water, okay, <laughs> and he's drowning because Wonder Woman's ropes around him, and so the Riddler is saying, "Honestly, I'm drowning. I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to lie to you. I'm drowning." <laughs> And so Aquaman's <laughs> heading towards the Riddler, so is the Flash. Yeah. Is it possible that the Flash <laughs> would kick Aquaman in the face? Yeah. And if he did, would he kill fall? Him. Kill he... him. Kill him, because it's well, like a would bullet. Kill... Well, they have... he's the king of Atlantis. We... You could probably shoot Aquaman in the face with a gun. <laughs> what, the Flash? With those Couldn't hips? You? Oh, yeah. I don't know why could not. Could you shoot Aquaman in the face? I... I think the Flash could kill Aquaman in pretty much any scenario. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but 
I, I give the Flash KO in that scenario, for sure. Ooh, well, I, well, what I was going to say is Between, yeah. if, Flash if the Flash is running across water and he steps on anything other than water, be it Aquaman's face in this case, like, <laughs> would he f- trip and then, and then he would fall in the water, right? Yeah. Okay, probably. good, because I'm just working on the script and I just... <laughs> 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 just wanted to run this scene by you and <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so you said the Flash could move the fastest in space. Yeah, he's been in space and uh, how did dude? Wait, on. the Flash could run in space. It's what? all about in... it's all about the uh, speed Light. force. The speed force is an interdimensional force that allows him to access speed. In any dimension. Oh, cool. Well, don't. <laughs> yeah. That's not. I mean, thank you for taking that. That's not a very nice way to respond to an answer to a question you asked. You wanted the answer, yeah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to make he sense. Does that, he does that to me a lot. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, tell me what you know. You really, really, I really care. Tell me what you're doing. And then I'll answer and he'll go, like, oh, nerd. Wow. Uh, uh, Okay, so he can run in space, he can run on water, he can... He can run on space. <laughs> uh, but he's not running, he's going to I interdimensional mean, what's it? Wait, how can he get... How does Speed Force make it so that he can move through space? Speed Force. Get Isn't that the name? I, I assumed that the... I, I have to say, I, when I heard Speed Force, yeah. I immediately pictured this whole fucking, like subset of comic books about all the people that hang out with the Flash and I was like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I willfully ignore it. I didn't want to hear a goddamn thing about it well it there's a uh, shortcut <laughs> <laughs> shortcuts. laser foot and, right. uh, shortcuts 12 has red hair and pigtails <laughs> <laughs> get back here shortcut <laughs> uh. But is that, wait, is Speed Force, does it refer, I, was, I assumed it was like a task force. No, it's like a force of nature. Yeah, yeah it's a force of nature. Oh, okay. It's okay. like a dimension that he accesses <laughs> to do his thing. And there are people there. There's Jesse Quick and all, all no. sorts of folks. Are Jesse. The speed Jesse Force. Jesse Quick. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew, I knew no. there was a Speed Force. Jesse Quick. No. I mean, they're not going to stop printing these comic books. They're not going to. They're not going to be like, well, maybe no one will want to read this one. They're going to keep doing it until it until it uh, fucking until it's dry as a. Bone. How did he become the Flash? He he spilled some chemicals on himself, no. but they got struck by lightning. Some bullshit. He spilled. Oh, you know, wait, 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 wait. I mean, it's what? true. Wait, 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 it's wait, wait, lazy, wait. but it is true. It's lazy. But it's so lazy. He spilled some chemicals. What were they? Janitorial supplies. <laughs> You can find and then any he home. got hit by lightning. And he got hit by lightning. Yeah, but on if, the same day that he's supposed. If you want to get like really into the Flash lore, he is no. the lightning bolt that struck himself, and he gave himself his powers. <laughs> it gets really complicated. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because because of, of the infinite crisis, did did did, did, did Brainiac uh, make Power Girl into a fucking storm cloud after? After Earth Two you make was, fun, but you know too much. To well, know. I, I'm 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 getting too much from Wikipedia. I'm like, just tell me who fucking Black Canary is. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I know the first paragraph of every single one of these fucking people is like, this is the name of several characters. I'm like, no, it's not. Just tell me who the fuck she is. What has she got? A knife in her boot? <laughs> Probably, but I'm not the one to help you with her. But yeah. Well, she sings in people's faces and stuff. She's sick. Uh, uh, pro- Superman and Batman Public Enemies. I was, uh, let's, Great. Uh, here's a new Great segment. Story. Here's a new segment. Uh, Dan Harmon problematizes uh, uh, the, the uh, things that don't need to be problematized. Uh, boom, ba, doom, doom, doom. Sometimes you gotta problematize. You got to problematize. Superman, oh man, we're done. I Thank fucking you. did it. Okay, Super, <laughs> Sir, Superman and Batman, Lex Luthor's president in this yeah. uh, public enemies thing, and, yeah. and uh, Superman and Batman are like... Uh, they have to move in together. I can't remember the uh, circumstance, but they're like, it's like, oh... Uh, you got any clean towels? Superman goes for there's a meeting a, there's with... There's a comet uh, coming towards Earth. 
It's yeah. a kryptonite comic, yeah. And Superman goes to have a meeting with Lex Luthor, and 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 Batman's like, "Don't go to that meeting," and whatever, uh, you know. Fast forward. So it's like it turns out, uh, yeah, Batman and Superman are like buddy cops who are like uh, framed for trying to kill President Luthor, and they're like on the lam together. Right. And uh, um, uh. Uh, all of the but Lex Luthor puts a bounty on their heads, so all of the uh, DC villains are trying to kill Superman and Batman. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and one of them is Banshee. You guys know Banshee. Um, she she comes she comes <laughs> flying out of the woods and goes, and Superman's like, what the fuck, fuck, and he just takes her up into space. <laughs> And she passes out, and he flies her down, and he says to Batman, oh my God, these guys don't hang out that much, but Superman says to Batman, she'll, she'll be out for a while, uh, but um, do, do you have anything for her screaming? <laughs> and, and Batman responds like he's been asked for Advil. He's like, yeah. And... And he puts a disc <laughs> on her throat and says, this hypersonic electromagnetic thing will conduct her scream power and make it hurt her, make her screams hurt her more than they hurt other people. Batman, why is that in your pocket? Yeah. Superman, why is your first move to fly them up to the exact height where they fall unconscious? I he was why are the two of you so fucking simpatico? <laughs> there was barely any conversation. It was like fucking, it was like a, <laughs> he comes out of the woods. <laughs> and he goes, and Super is just like, what the fuck? Who the fuck? All hey, I know is this bitch won't fuck, fuck you. To... Hey, try screaming without air. Takes him down to his vigilante friend and goes, look, I, oh, here's what I know. She'll be out for a while. Superman's hey, done this a thousand hey, times. Hey, hey, Bats. I just find, I just invented a new way to killing people. <laughs> I'm knocking them out. I can grab them by the lapels and go up to space. He, he does it three times. Where there's no air. And they implode. And then I just drop them the fuck down. Superman, Why does he do that like Su that? Uh, Superman Every does it time. so many times in that series That's fucking that, I, I, that I watch like regular Superman stuff and I'm like, well, you got, you got them. Like, like, and, that's like, like now, and whenever he like, whenever he like throws I'm someone, I'm like, why'd you die. throw them? Do your fucking move. Let's go, yeah. You got, you like, Leak, leak. I would never stop mashing that A button. That is, like, like, yeah, that is, that take is them so into space. See how they like that. <laughs> that is so fucking dark. Like, like he went. Oh, I never thought of that before. Brr, there's a bank robbery. Oh, I got this. <laughs> All right, everybody, put your goddamn hands in the air. We're gonna blow your fucking head. Up. Excuse me, going up. What are you? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> yeah. No. How about this? Hey, Martian, hey. Martian Manhunter, a uh, uh, scan for all the people that are that are thinking they might want to rob a bank. Um, hey, uh, 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 Flash, qu quickly learn to uh, forge a contest uh, entry for people who all get to rob a bank. Like, like if you start just like he just like gathers people in buses and like, like full of people who are thinking about Run robbing banks and sun. just like soaring them into space, and they're like, oh uh, uh, and then he just like takes them down and like. It's just like filling stadiums full of buses full of people who might fucking have the wrong he's thoughts. Like, he's like, why am I making this so hard for yeah. myself? Making them Save the emptying, world, Superman. emptying their guns while and, and, and while they're shooting at my chest. I could just grab the fuckers and go up to space. I mean, you're an alien. You can't die. Use it or lose that's it. it. That's you're not going to fit in while you're helping people. No one <laughs> likes people saving them. Everyone needs it. Stop fitting in. Save us. Christ. Like, just fucking, like, sh like kill everyone that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and tell us uh, how to be. We'll wear red capes. Uh, he just, well, I'm sure he does it in, like, some Joker version. Read where... Red Sun. It's a great story about Superman being a Russian fucking yeah, writer. Yeah, yeah, Russian. That's true, yeah. Come on. All right. Well, uh, 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 Jacob. uh, 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 Jacob, how was that donut, bro? It was delicious. I, so I got you a napkin. I, I put it down. You can have it now, and you can finish it. You, Thank you, you. you earned it. So I think it's next next week. We'll talk. We'll talk true crime with some with some wonderful British imports. I I, I really think you're gonna love them. The um, red handles. The, it's it's the red handed podcast. Uh, you think you're sick of true crime, but uh, you know, like I I I. 
they're 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 really uh, kind of graceful and crisp about it in a way that makes me like happy. But I still listen to every single true crime podcast. <sighs> yeah, you don't have to pretend you're interested. Hey, what what I would say is check out Deadly Class. You might enjoy it. Deadly Class. Yeah, it's a it's a new TV show. Russo Brothers produced it. And a great comic book writer wrote it. You might enjoy it. I, what is it? What's the Deadly Class? What is it all? Deadly Class is it's about a, a group of assassins who uh, are are kids who are being trained to be assassins as children, and it's good. You'll you'll enjoy it. What is it? What medium? It's TV. It's on Sci-Fi. Okay. Yep. There's still a Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi Network. I know the last thing they did was how do they Star spell Galactica. it now? Is it like uh, P S I dash? <laughs> Two upside down threes it's shaped like a mouse. Yeah. It's like half food shows. <laughs> it's, it's bad, but <laughs> it's the only good thing they got going. That for is them. the uh, that's the slogan for the network. <laughs> it's bad, but <laughs> but <laughs> check it out. <laughs> well, how can you have branding now? Like everybody's kind of like uh, like I, I like, that's like, the networks are panicking because they're like. Well, what if you spent twenty years like figuring out, you know, how to make people understand what what, what you mean when you say FX? And now <laughs> FX isn't going to look forward to a world where they're like, how are we gonna make, you put an extra X? How, how are we gonna sell ourselves on Netflix, which is just like Walmarting the fucking uh, world? Videscape coined it. Uh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. We'll have to save that for the next episode. International Women's Month. International Yay! Women's Month. Uh, uh, Please find a charity. Uh, we always uh, do one, but find a charity that supports the women in your neighborhood or around the world. This has been Harmontown. Please give a warm round of applause to Jacob, <laughs> Dan Harmon, Rob Schraub. Happy birthday, Sarah Hill. Happy birthday, Steve Levy, Chris Forum, Zach McKeever, Nolan Fabricus. I've been Brandon Johnson. We will see you next Monday at the Downtown Dynasty. Good night. Yeah. Did you get any of that? It's a good show!